go. Oh no! Go ahead, consent to reduce your dislocation. No. I'm just kidding, yeah. <laughs> and then it'll glide right back into place. And then after that, I would immobilize with the splint and then have her go make an appointment with her orthopedist as soon as possible. The name of the reduction technique that I used is non-existent. Um, there's no literature on it when there's no name available for the um, name of the patellar dislocation reduction technique that I utilized. Um, we've discussed it in class and um, it's a common well-known technique known by athletic trainers and it seems to work really well. I, there's just no literature on it. Post-care steps for the patient would include creating a appointment with their orthopedist as soon as possible and just to monitor their lower extremity if they see that there's discoloration going on with their lower extremity, if they feel numbness, um, if they feel it go cold. Um, that's an emergency so go to the ER as soon as possible um, and don't wait. Um, so don't wait for their appointment with their orthopedist. Also, what was not added into the video was that the patient would be, um, an ACE wrap would have been added for compression. We would have added a splint to it or some sort of casting device onto the leg and then we would have, to immobilize it, and then we would have given them crutches to be able to be mobile until their appointment and until they start healing.